Yo, what's up, guys? This is Mike. And Jaime from Pierce the Veil. And you're watching Brutal Films. If it isn't quality, it isn't brutal. What's up, guys? This is Mike. Um, Jaime, and we're in Pierce the Vale. Sort of. Half of them. Yeah. That's all we got. Doubles. Doubles. Hits. We got hits now. Dang. It's been up? it's been good. Yeah, we've actually uh, learned that was our first music video, and like now. I'm assuming the music videos have been a lot smoother. We kind of know what we're getting ourselves into. But as far as like the band's concerned, uh, it's been pretty pretty gnarly. Uh, a lot, yeah, lots happened since then. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just we actually just shot our new music video for uh, King for a Day featuring Kellen Quinn from mm -hmm. Sleeping with Sirens. And I believe we just confirmed the final edit today. Yeah. So it came out great. Cool. So that should be uh, released um, in a couple weeks or so. A couple weeks, yeah. Yeah. But it's been pretty insane, yeah. Non-stop touring, like literally just touring, then go home to write, go record the record, go back on tour, and, you know, repeat process three times. <laughs> yeah. It's, it really hasn't changed. It's just progressed, you know? Yeah. Like we always challenge ourselves every record to just do something different and, you know, keep you know, keep the Pierce the Veil vibe, but yeah, just yeah. always progress. Same and with our, our fans, too. Like, as we grow up, we learn new things and become the people we're supposed to be kind of vibe. So I think the band is doing the same thing. It's, like, maturing into what it's supposed to be. And I think this third record that we just released is the best at that time. We were, yeah. You know, when we were writing and stuff, that's that's us. Yeah, it's it's so. pretty easy for a band <clears> to just, you know, go to a major and, you know, they want them to write a radio hit or, you know, like, something like that. But uh, I don't... I don't think that that's for us, so we're just gonna keep Pierce DeVille how Pierce DeVille is, so. I think uh, the one on a new record, Bulls, uh, there's Bulls a song called uh, Bulls in the Bronx, which is like a pretty pretty heavy song, um, and it has like a, a Spanish guitar break, like in the, in the middle of the song, which is kind of like, we're all Hispanic and stuff, so like adding that, like, that so, vibe, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, gives kids like a different, you know, vibe. Because I, I don't know a lot of bands that that do that kind of stuff, you know, in our kind of music. So, um, I think it gives kids like a, a sense of like, oh crap, they like they actually are proud of who they are and where they came from. And stuff. A lot of the skies definitely are most aggressive record we've ever wrote, and it wasn't planned like that. It just kind of happened, and I was it so angry at the time? <laughs> We weren't, we weren't angry. We're yeah, we weren't angry. We're, we're hanging. We're in Jersey, just chilling. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. We we you know, we did the last record in L.A. and this one we did in Jersey, which was ten times better. No distractions. We were just in the middle of nowhere. Um, we worked for like the first two weeks. We we went next door to the studio in this like abandoned office building and set up like our practice space and we like played the songs like a million times. Wrote, changed, changed and rewrote <laughs> every single song like seven times. So like. Just until they were like perfect, you know, and then uh, yeah, it was awesome. We had we had two producers on this record, which we've never had before, so it was cool. Like one day, Mike would be recording drums in next door in, in like an empty warehouse, and I'd be recording bass in another room, like on the other side of the building. Like yeah, so like it was like a factory how everything was built. So it was really cool. It was fun. It was fun. A lot it was of good fun. times. Good times. And kids dig the dig the records, so yeah. Oh, why was it chosen? <laughs> yeah, well, I think I think the the way it came out was how um, it's featuring our boy Kellen Quinn from Sleeping with Sirens, and that song kind of just happened through literally Twitter. Like they were sending us, you know, Pierceville messages all all the time saying Vic and Kellen need to be on a song. So when we wrote that song, it just felt after we heard it and stuff it just felt like the right one to start with especially because we're going to be playing that song on warped they're on warped we can play it you know it'll be a fun it'll be like a a fun thing to do live so that's that, that that's song also was another one that was um we barely had the skeleton for that song in yeah. in the studio so that was pretty much 
It was like written in the written studio, in yeah. So it was, yeah, it was yeah. cool to just hear the and... final outcome. Like once we got the final mix of it, it was like, wow, this song's just, yeah. This song's really sick cool. ass bass line. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, doing our first headliner in the UK after this tour. Pretty big deal. It's a big deal. This is a huge deal for us. Yeah, so we're going to go from uh, main stage, you know, Warped big crowd to just 200 cap dungeons in the UK. It's so. going to get weird. <laughs> I might play naked. That's fine. That's fine. Just fine. don't show me anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to tell him something real quick. <laughs> so, Jaime used to not wear underwear. I'm, I, I guess it's pretty common. I don't know. I, yeah, I didn't. I wasn't I've, I've worn underwear my whole life, but he just started wearing underwear, and he loves showing it off. On the bus. Showing down. We call it showing down. Showing down. So, like, when he's putting, like, his show pants on or whatever. Do, like, little moves. He has to do, like, a little dance every time in the bus, like, in the bus aisle. And it's yeah. like, come on, put some pants on. Yeah. No pants. I'm like a little kid. <laughs> I like being... Pantless. He also got his uh, neck tatted. I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> show, him, show him your new neck tat. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay right now. You'll see you later. <laughs> now pick up the new record, Collide with the Sky. It's out now. Yes, and thank Check you to everyone else who already picked up the record. We love you so much, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.